Good morning, dear students. All set for the day. Children, today I would like to talk about a few important points you should keep in mind while speaking in public. Many a times you have to deliver a speech or you have to participate in a debate. Then you should always speak with confidence and make an eye contact with the audience. You should keep the age and the class of audience in mind and build a rapport with them. Now you can also use gestures or facial expressions to explain your point. And keep track of time and when you are about to end then sum up the topic and relate back to everything you have said. Hope you would be benefited. Now children, today I will teach you subtraction. How? How to arrange in columns and subtract. So, let's begin. Let's take an example. Two seventy eight minus five. Now children, the first step is to place them according to their place values. There are three digits in the first number and only one digit in the second number. So, when we have three digits, this is ones, tens and hundreds place. So, we will write H, P and O. Children, from the right side, we start placing the number in these columns. So, the first number, we start from the right side. So, how many ones are here? Eight ones. So, eight ones. How many tens are here? Seven tens. And how many hundreds? Two hundreds. In the second number, there is only one digit. So, you should learn this where you have to put this number. We start placing them from the right side. So, when we start placing in the columns, 5 will be placed here. It means this number has only 5 ones. Now, we will subtract. 8 minus 5. Draw 8 lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And how many you have to minus subtract? Or subtraction means to take away. How many you have to take away? You have to take away 5. So cross 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. How many are left? 1, 2 and 3. So 3 ones. Now, there is no tens to be subtracted. So, 7 will be carried down. 7 minus 0 is 7. No hundreds to be subtracted. So, 2 minus 0 is 2. Now, children, let's take up another example. 680. Minus 37. In the first number, there are 3 digits. In the second number, there are 2 digits. So, when we have 3 digits, we write hundreds, tens and ones. Starting from the right side. We always start from the right side. We will place these numbers in these columns. So, how many ones? Zero ones. How many tens? Eight tens. How many hundreds? Six hundreds. The second number? Children, second number has only two digits. So, starting from the right side. How many ones? Seven ones. Three tens. How many hundreds? No hundreds because... When we have only two digits, we don't have hundreds. So, let's subtract. 
Now, 0 minus 7. Children, this is not possible. If you don't have anything, how can you get 7? So, what we will do? We will go to the next column and borrow 1. So, this 8 will give 110 and become 7. And that 110 we will make into 10 ones. So, this is no more 0. This is 10. Now 10 minus 7. Yes, we can subtract 7 from 10. So we will make 10 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And how many we have to cross? 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many left? 1, 2 and 3. So we will write 3. From the tens column, 7 tens minus 3 tens. So, 7 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And how many we have to subtract? 3. So, we will cross 3 lines. 1, 2 and 3. How many are left? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 tens. Now, from the hundreds column, from 6, we don't have to subtract anything. So, we will copy down 6 as such. So, the difference between 380 and 37 is 643. Now, children, let's take up another example. 862 minus sign 526. So, we have to subtract 526 from 862. And what we are doing? We are arranging the numbers in columns and subtracting. So, the first step is to see how many digits are there in the numbers. In the first number, how many digits are there? 1, 2 and 3. In the second number, 1, 2 and 3. Both the numbers have 3 digits. So, we will write H, T, O. Hundreds, tens and ones. So, we uh, start placing them from the right side. So how many ones? Two ones. Children, we always start from the right side. This is the key point. Then how many tens? Six tens. How many hundreds? Eight hundreds. What we have to subtract? 526. Starting from the right side, how many ones? Ones, tens and hundreds. So how many ones? Six ones. How many tens? Two tens. And how many hundreds? Five hundreds. Put the subtraction sign and we will subtract. Now, starting from the ones column. Two minus six. This is not possible. If we have two candies, we cannot give six candies. So, again we will go to the next column. This is the tens column and we will ask for one. So, we had 6 tens. We will borrow 1 ten from here and give it to the 1's column. And this 6 will become 5. And this 2 will become 12. 1 ten from here moves to the 1's column and becomes 10 ones. 10 ones plus 2 ones will become 12. Now we have sufficient numbers and we can minus. 12 minus 6. So drawing 12 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have to subtract 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We crossed out 6 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Children, every time you don't need to draw lines, if you are able to do it by yourself, then you can do it. 
with practice you will learn to subtract very easily it is just for uh, the sake okay, if you don't know if you don't know how to add quick uh, subtract quickly so you can draw lines and do this work now 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 how many are left 3 this is also an easy way to do the sums 5 minus 2 3 8 minus 5 8 minus 5 is 3. If you can subtract without drawing lines, it is very good. If you cannot, you can draw lines and do. So, we have 